Alrighty guys, this is Snugs on Blitz, and I'm back with another video for you today. So, I had a game in this tank, the E5, on Mines. It's a pretty solid game. Thought I'd share it with you, give you my thoughts. You know, it's nothing amazing, nothing to write home about, but for people who are not really good at Mines, uh, this is, I think, probably the classic way of playing it. So, with that, let's jump right in. Okay, so I've done a few videos on how I think mines should be played, but I wanted to share this with you because look at their lineup. They've got two grills and a JPPZ. I think on mines more than any other map, probably you need to look at how many tank destroyers they have because it's a small map and pretty much tank destroyers know to focus that hill where I'm going right now. They target it and if you cross and you get lit up, get maybe tracked you will get ripped apart and this is the same for both sides now I'm just gonna crest over here it's kind of a dangerous move because if I do get lit up um, I can get tracked and get ripped apart what I would suggest for players in hull down tanks such as the Krav, uh, E5, uh, Minotauro and yes, even the Patton and STB is to work the center of this hilly area, which is what I'm about to do now. The reason being is the tank destroyers don't have quite as easy shots, and you can pop up from different positions, which make it a little bit harder for them to pre-aim their shots. Whereas if they go the other side, uh, that's definitely a place that a lot of people target. Uh, I took a hit for my trouble from the JPPZ, but I think he was only using HE, which is why he did so little damage. I think that was him anyway. And uh, I bounced another shell from the E5, so that's good news. Now, because they've got such big guns, including 60 TP and those grills, I'm just playing this cautiously. I don't want to get overly aggressive too quickly, and I think that's a mistake a lot of people make, is thinking that, okay, yeah, they're backing up, I can just push on in, no problem. Sometimes it's to lure you into a trap, and oftentimes on mines, <laughs> as you can see with the grill back there, yeah, they, were, they want me to push on over because then they'll get some easy shots, maybe even track me and be able to rip me apart. So instead, I'm just taking it nice and slow and, and picking them apart piece by piece. There are two tanks down, and their 60 TP is not looking good. So if you get rid of him, that would be great. I think a mistake a lot of newer players make is thinking, hey, it's six versus four, I can just push on in, no problem. That's 60 TP, I can get rid of him really quickly. What happens if you pop on over this hill, bounce your shell, get tracked by him? The JPZ pops out, does 800 damage, the grill hits you from the side for another 600, 800 damage, and suddenly you're one shot. So I think a mistake a lot of newer players make is thinking, yeah, sure, I'll have no problem taking these tanks out because they've only got three tanks left. Be careful if they've got a lot of health and if they've got a lot of armor because crazy things do happen in this game all the time. Pros understand that and they play a lot more cautiously, generally speaking, but I like to sometimes be super aggressive and other times just take it nice and slow. Now I'm just backing it up here I was tempted to go around, but uh, I think better of it, and uh, decided to head back up over the hill here. Need to get rid of that grill, ideally, then it's uh, kind of smooth sailing, but okay, gonna have to go for the 60 TP first. The thing is, if you can get rid of their tank destroyers, then they've lost their support. If you can get rid of their heavy tanks, they've lost their armor. If you can get rid of the mediums or lights, they're blind because they don't really have spotting ability. Anyway, um, from six versus four, it's now three versus three. And this tank is looking mighty healthy here. Love to get rid of him, I wanted to track him. Didn't quite work out, that's unfortunate. Change to gold shells just because I want to guarantee the pen. Here I go, yep, come on, come on. Now I'm just being careful here. Don't want to take a super massive chunk of my health and throw it down the drain. Now he's fired, no problem. It's easy peasy from here on in because 
Uh, there he goes. Unfortunately, this TVP can unleash a heck of a lot of damage in a short period of time. But thanks to the grill, he's gone. Now we just need to find their grill. He's somewhere. I think he's going to pop. There he is. And do I? Yep, I take a hit for my trouble, but he's gone. So, um, if you're in a hull down tank and you're playing mines, you've really got two choices to go on one side of the rock or on the other side of the rock. It really depends on your gun depression, how comfortable you are playing those positions. But yeah, a solid game. But as you can see from a game that looked like an easy win at one point, yeah, um, things got a little bit tighter near the end. Thankfully, I kept my health, and that's why you don't want to take too much damage early on, because you never know how aggressive or stupid or cocky some people get when they have an advantage. Have you made the mistake of charging in a little too soon? I can tell you for a fact, I've done it way too many times. So, do I do it now? Well, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It's just, I kind of play the odds and figure, yep, yeah, I think I've got this, so I push on in. Other times I'm like, no, 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 not just yet. So, I uh, hope you like this video. Don't forget to hit the like button. And of course, comment below. Do you like mines? Do you like playing hull down tanks? What's your favorite hull down tank? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. But most importantly, tell your friends, tell your buddies, tell everyone to subscribe to my channel because I'm such an awesome guy. No, just let them know that you're enjoying my channel. You're getting some value from it because that's really what I hope to do. Anyway, that's all I got. I'll see you next time. Snugs on Blitz, out.